Record crowds are expected to pass through Miami International Airport this Thanksgiving holiday, but COVID-19 is still a concern. CBS World's Jacqueline Quinn is at MIA with ways to stay safe during travel and holiday gatherings. Jacqueline. The number one thing here, and you really hear doctors say this a lot, is get vaccinated. However, if you feel like you've been around a lot of people as you're traveling, plan ahead to get tested as you get to your destination. Oh, my plans for Thanksgiving are to go to St. Thomas. And she can only get there if she's cleared to fly in to the resort she's staying at in the first place. Even though we're vaccinated, we still had to, within five days, get a COVID test and um, upload it to the, to the website. And then they give us a QR code once they've approved us to come in. While COVID numbers have been going down here, some states are seeing a rise. Luckily, Florida has still been fairly spared from this increase, but there is some concern that the increase may start um, showing up here. Now, what should we keep in mind once we get to grandmother's house? The number one thing is vaccination, uh, washing your hands often, try not to touch your face. And at the same time, again, given we have the good Florida weather here, if you're able to host outside, that could be a good idea. Since the incubation period of COVID-19 varies, it could be a good idea to get tested. The tests that are available now are reliable, particularly PCR tests. So particularly if you have someone in your family who's at high risk, someone who's immunosuppressed or, as, or an infant or someone who's elderly, in those situations, it may make sense to actually go and get tested with a PCR test. And the doctor stresses the importance of keeping hands clean, something Rochelle is already trying her best to do as she prepares to spend time with family. It's going to be great. I'm not, um, we don't let things get us down. We just figure out the next move and go from there. Now, just so you know, if you're coming through the airport here, there is a rapid testing center. So something to think about, especially at other airports. For now, reporting in Miami, I'm Jacqueline Quinn, CBS4 News. Big crowd there. All right, Jacqueline, thank you very much.